Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this very sweet little card folder. I've used the Berry Blessings stamp set together with the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. And both of these items are available for free together with any purchase of £90 during our celebration promotion. Now this is what the folder looks like once it's opened. I've created six cards to go inside, each of them using our note cards. This project is very quick and very simple to create, so anybody could do it. So, let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I'm using Pacific Point cardstock for my folder today. Now, you need three pieces to make the folder. The long strip is for the envelopes and doesn't need scoring. If you place your largest piece in the scoreboard with the longest side across the top, you want to score down at 4 inches and 5 inches. The smaller piece goes into the scoreboard, again with the longest side across the top, and I'm going to score this at 3 quarters of an inch, 4 and three eighths of an inch, five and one eighth, and eight and three quarters. Then I'm going to quarter turn clockwise and score down at three quarters of an inch. And that's all the scoring needed. This is the only piece that needs cutting. Now, if you have the horizontal line nearest to you, you will see in the bottom right there's a small rectangle that needs to be removed. The half inch tab above it needs to have the sides slant cut. And then I'm going to cut up the remaining vertical score lines to the horizontal to create two rectangular tabs and two square tabs along the base. Now the square tabs will also have their sides slant cut. So I'll remove that corner section in the bottom right and slant cut that half inch tab. Then I'm going to make a straight cut nearest the rectangle and slant cut the sides of the square tab that's created. So a straight cut and then a little slanted cut on the sides of the square tab. And that's it. I can then fold on all the scored lines and burnish them with my bone folder. To create the pocket from this piece, I'm go just going to add glue to the half inch side tab on the right side and then I'm going to close the opposite end onto it. Now where that join is, the bottom tab is the tab that folds in first of all when you're creating the base. Then I'm going to add glue to the remaining three tabs, fold the sides in and then fold the front in and this leaves a nice clean edge on the front. This is the Berry Blessings stamp set and today I'm using the leaves and the blueberries. I'm stamping the leaves in shaded spruce ink and I'm going to stamp the outline first of all and then I'm going to use the other stamp to fill in the colour. I'm still using shaded spruce but I'm going to stamp it off once to get a lighter tone. I'll be using both Night of Navy ink 
and Pacific Pointing for the blueberries. I'm going to start by stamping the outline image in Knight of Navy and then I'll use Pacific Point for the infill colour. This smallest blueberry looks like it's floating in the air so I'm just going to create a stem for it and I'm using my Shaded Spruce Stamping Right marker for this. I'm going to die cut this using one of the Tasteful Labels dies. And when I die cut it, I'm going to leave enough space on the right hand side to stamp my sentiment. And the sentiment comes from the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and it's the Hello There sentiment. I have some grid paper under my sentiment mat to help me stamp the sentiment straight, fingers crossed and I'm using Knight of Navy ink. I can then fold on all the scored lines on the main piece and burnish these with my bone folder. Using a pencil and ruler, I'm going to mark the halfway point on each of the side edges. This is at two and three quarter inches. The marks are to help me lay my ribbon down straight. I'm going to secure the ribbon using some tear and tape adhesive and I go, I'm going to place this along the front and back sections but not quite up to the side edges, there's just a small gap. You don't want to put it across the spine of the folder because this is not going to be covered. I can then remove the backing. I'm going to use some retired ribbon for this folder and this is actually in blueberry bushel and it's an eighth of an inch grow grain. But you could use any contrasting ribbon that you like. White would be perfect, so would Knight of Navy or Pacific Point if you have any. I'm just going to lay it across the back of my folder, keeping it as straight as I possibly can. It doesn't matter that my tear and tape adhesive is wider than my ribbon because I'm covering the whole of the front and back sections. Now I'm using the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper and this is the paper that comes with the Berry Blessing stamp set as a bundle as a free item during Celebration 2021. So I'm just going to add glue to each of these pieces and they cover the front and back sections entirely. I've not left a border on these. I'm now going to secure the envelopes inside the folder using the strip of cardstock. Now you can use an 11 inch strip or an A4 length strip that's approximately one inches wide. Mine is actually a little less than one inch and a little shorter than A4 length because it's a scrap piece that I had just hanging around. So I'm going to use it. Now I'm going to mark with a pencil the halfway point and then this will help me position it onto the envelopes. I want that mark to be approximately halfway down. Now I'm going to wrap the card strip around the envelopes trying not to make it too tight and it will overlap on the back. Obviously, if you're using an 11 inch strip, the overlap will be a little bit smaller. I've marked the overlap with a pencil and then I've added glue to that point. Then I can secure it. 
I can now add glue along the strip on the back where the join is and then I'm going to centre it on my left hand panel. I can now add glue to the back of the pocket. Make sure you're adding it to the side where you can see the two joins. And then I'm going to centre this at the bottom of the right hand panel, making sure the gap from the bottom edge to the bottom of the pocket is approximately the same as on the other side to the bottom of the envelopes. I've added dimensionals onto the back of my front panel. Now this can be positioned up high or in the middle. I prefer it, I think, in the middle. I can now go ahead and add some more designer series paper to the front of the pocket. and also to the band on the envelopes. Now for this strip of designer series paper, I've only given you an approximate length. It depends how tight you made the band to how long you want this strip. So you may need to adjust the length measurement. And then I can add my six cards inside. Now you've probably got room for a couple more as well. Now these are some of the additional papers that you get in the Berry Delightful pack. They're all 12 by 12 papers and you get 12 sheets and they're all beautiful. The sentiment came from the sweet strawberry stamp set. I'll keep the ribbon tails long until I gift this project and then I'll just trim them down a little bit. And that's it, that's the folder complete. Very simple to make and very quick. A super easy project for anybody. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.